right, I was just going to make a video on a, hopefully a way to make it easier to like, remove the lens and get it back in. So all I did was just measure, this is the tool that gets the lens in and out. Just measured the thickness um, and then the width this way. I'm hoping I can slot that into it. So that's what I'm sending now. Okay, this is just under one millimetre, the opening now. So it's 0 0.86. That's right at that. Yeah, that one fits in there perfectly now. Okay, now I'm going to cut out the next two pieces. Same thing, 12 speed, 60 power. Okay, so this is my idea here. I've got that slot cut for the, for the tool to go in. Which I'm gonna have to get something else still to hold it in there, so otherwise it's gonna push up. But that's fine for now. Um, and then this, I'm hoping to screw on the wall. It should be nice and tight. It's not bad. And glue it. And that was my fault to have this up sticking off the wall. Kind of like this, and then you can just push it up against it, turn it easily. Now I'm just gonna get a piece to cover this top and so this can hold in there tighter okay I found another chunk of scrap acrylic so I'm just going to cut it out of that quickly okay that's that done I made these holes a little tiny bit smaller so that it hopefully won't go right the way through that and this one much tighter so yeah I'm gonna peel off the um, paper and then glue these together all right all I did you can see I put a little bit of super glue just in the top there and a little bit on the front here and as I squeezed it this got caught in here oh, well pretty much I do want to be able to get it out if it don't work I mean it's the first time I tried it so but that's roughly was my idea and now hopefully I can just push the lens up and unscrew it like that so I'm going to put it up on the wall see how that goes okay moment of truth Maybe time it against how long it normally takes you. This is an alcohol wipe, a Nikon lens wipe, it's a wet kind of wipe. And then I just get a dry wipe. Make sure it's all nice and cleaned up. Always make sure the bulge is going upwards. Put this back on top. Drop it down in there. I'm going to get this started a tiny little bit. That's it done. So yeah, I'll have to time on the video how long that was, but I would say under a minute. But we'll see. So yeah, I just wanted to show that because that's handy. I think what I could do is if I'm, you know, keeping it out, I'll just get a bit of glue, uh, glue gun, and maybe just run a bit of glue along here or something just to keep it right in there. 
Unless I can think of a better way. But yeah, I just wanted to show that I might save a bit of time and it's important to clean the lens because if it's quick to do and you do it all the time, I haven't had a, I haven't had a two inch lens burn out on me yet. I did have a high definition lens burn out on me, but the opening is very big and I had low air, I didn't realise and I, uh, but yeah, I'm happy with that. And this does still come out actually, but it's just wedged in there enough. So if you make, just make sure you get that size good when you, when you're cutting it and then it's basically pretty tough in there. I mean it would come through but you can put quite a bit of pressure on it. So yeah, just wanted to show that. And then I'll share this file if anyone wants it. Or you could just make it yourself. Maybe I'll just do a quick video of how I did it. It's a pretty easy one and it's good to learn on light burn. So okay, I'll do that. Thanks for watching. And again, I'll uh, try and get out another video as soon as possible. Okay, I just wanted to make a really quick tutorial on how to do that, what I've done earlier. So, I just, the little slot I made, I was in millimetres. It was 24.50 long and then 0.9 wide. That's where the little tool goes into. Then I just got a circle dragged it out to, I'm going to change this to inches, to about two inches, uh, not both directions, just move that up around close to that, and then get a square, match it up with a circle, click them, uh, go back to the selection tool, click them both, make sure they're centered, and then with them both selected just click this one take everything out of the centre you got that half and then you just want to make the other half take this size and then make the thickness however thick your um, acrylic or whatever you're using however thick the material is so mine was 4mm so I'm just going to change this back to millimetres and put height 4 millimetres and then click them to just make sure that's centred yep and that's basically it and then I just printed out the same again and fixed them together and that's that was it oh sorry one last thing that I did do I just made a couple of circles for the screws to go through so just uh, actually if you just drag out one circle and then press Control and D and then you duplicate it so yeah, they're both the same size hold shift and drag it across and then they're both on the same line so yeah again thanks for watching and until next time